Welcome to IDRL 2.0, the second year of the International Diecast Racing League. I'm Marcus Firegon, your race host and organizer, working in conjunction with the Merch by Meekin Racing League. We are proud to bring you this Diecast Racing series that really lets all Diecast modifiers go head to head with their peers and to find out how they rank in the world of Diecast Racing. On this round of the IDRL, we're going to run 12 groups of 4 cars, a total of 8 runs for each group. Then the lowest ranked car of each group will be eliminated for 12 cars, but we're going to eliminate a total of 16 cars. The additional 4 eliminations will be the bottom 4 scoring cars out of all groups. Here we go. It's number 33, Jimmy Tonto of Uncle Elvis Racing in pole position. Beside him is John Receiver. Behind him, Greg Sturt Sr. And in the back corner, it's Sturtis. Jimmy Tonto is driving a 1984 Mustang SVO. Jimmy Tonto and Craig Sturt Sr. really pulled away from the pack. Oh no, what happened here? Looks like Sturtis crashed, didn't cross the line. Jimmy Tonto in first, Craig Sturt Sr. in second, and then John Receiver comes across the line in third. Dirt is somewhere flipped. I didn't catch it on film. Hope he's okay. He misses out on the one point for coming in fourth, which could be disastrous with the competition we have today. Now it's number 84, John Receiver of Jack John and Katie Racing in his 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302. Dirtis is able to pull into second. Jimmy Tonto gets pushed back into fourth. At the line, it's John Receiver, Dirtis, Craig Sturt Sr., and Jimmy Tonto. Lap three, and it's car number 220, Dirtis of Ragtag Racing in his 1970 Challenger. They're side by side. Craig Sturt Sr. is challenging him for the first spot. Craig Sr. pulls into the lead. Oh no, there's a crash. Dirtis is off the track. And John Receiver's on his roof. Dirtis all of a sudden does a hard right, goes off track, and then rolls sideways. One, two, three, four, five flips. Dirtis has not exited his vehicle yet. And John Receiver's on his roof. I hope he's okay as well. I gotta see that again in super slow-mo. He almost makes contact with that car in the parking lot, and then takes down the fencing. Hope he's okay, that's a lot of rolls. Word is that uh, Dirtis was unconscious, but uh, he's going to be okay and he's actually going to line up for the next lap. So for those of you keeping track at home, that's a double D and F on lap three. Uh, not good. They need to earn all the points that they can on this. It's very competitive. Lap 4 and it's number 98. Craigster Sr. of Hot Nuts Diecast Racing. Also driving a 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302. Back end gets a little loose going through Tanker's Bend. Oh and Dirtis crashes again. You can see John Receiver tries to avoid Takes a skid there, but there's not enough room to get between the rail and the back of Dirtis's car. I'm not sure how they finished. Dirtis got up to the line. Oh, yeah, Dirtis crossed the line before John Receiver got there. It's Craigster Sr., Jimmy Tonto, Dirtis, and then John Receiver in that order. Some real precision driving there by John Receiver. We're at the halfway point and Craig Sturd Sr. has already got 15 points. I think that's a, a record for the halfway mark. And then Jimmy Tonto with 12. It's Dirtis and John Receiver that are in trouble with 5 points and 8 points respectively. Dirtis with only 5. Looks like he's at risk at going home. Merch by Meekin 
is your headquarters for all your custom die-cast metal signs. Don't forget to check out our custom merch and personal gift ideas too. Merch by Nikon. Gotta love those signs. Lap 5 and we're back around to Jimmy Tonto of Uncle Elvis Racing. A clean run with Jimmy Tonto in first and Craigster Sr. in second. I think Dirtis comes from behind and passes John Receiver at the line. Let's see that in super slow-mo. And it's Dirtis third, John Receiver fourth. Lap 6 and it's John Receiver of Jack, John and Katie Racing in pole position. Oh, Jimmy Tonto gets loose going into the switchback. Almost crashes. Dirtis pulls into second. Is that Dirtis pushing at the line? He's really going for the points. Oh no, it looks like John Receiver just kind of lost control there going across the finish line. I was going to say that that Mustang got a little squirrely at the line, but then I don't want to make any jokes about bad drivers and Mustangs. Lap 7 and it's Dirtis of Ragtag Racing. Dirtis needs this win. Only two laps to go and he's got 10 points. Craigster Sr.'s alongside. He pulls ahead. Craig Sr.'s in the lead. It's Craig Sr., Dirtis, Jimmy Toto, and John Receiver going across in reverse. John Receiver loses control from third, and Jimmy Toto almost pushes him right off the track. Let's see that again. Lap 8, last lap, and it's Craigster Sr. of Hot Nuts Diecast Racing in pole position. And behind him is Dirtis. Dirtis currently has the least amount of points with just 13. So he's looking for some more points here if he wants to stay in. Craigster Sr. is way out in the lead. Dirtis is in second. And at the line, it's Craigster Sr., Dirtis, Jimmy Tonto, and then John Receiver in fourth. And here's the final results. It's Craigster Sr. of Hot Nuts Diecast Racing with a record 30 points. That's the most points earned in this whole tournament. In second place is Jimmy Tonto with 22 points. And then Dirtis and John Receiver are tied for 16 points. Dirtis pulled off the points he needed to at least tie. The tiebreaker is based on their qualifying times. Dirtis had a qualifying time of 6.287 seconds. John Receiver had a qualifying time of 6.396 seconds. So Dirtis actually had the better qualifying time. So it's going to be John Receiver who's going home. John Receiver's been eliminated. John Receiver joins Jen, Fractal Panda, Mick Miles, Woodgrain, Wes Cosin, The Pool Guy, Bolo Brown, Fractal Panda, Cousin Ricky, and Triple B. And we've had our first elimination out of four based on points. Dirtis has been eliminated with 16 points. Dirtis took the bullet today and saved Arlo. Arlo is still at risk though with 18 points. Raw Sun God's at risk with 19 points. Nikki Chicky and Scotty are tied at 20, but the tiebreaker is based on qualifying time. Nikki Chicky had the slower qualifying time of 6.353 seconds, so Nikki Chicky's also at risk. We're really worried about Dirtis. He's being checked out at the start finish line. Send your prayers and 995 to Ragtag Racing.
The Sportsman Cup World Tour celebrates 60 years of muscle sports cars from 1963 to current, between 50 and 60 grams in weight. The main event, the IDRL Sportsman Cup, will take place at these tracks. And the races will be posted on their individual YouTube channels. Look to the IDRL YouTube channel for a playlist with links to all the races. And don't forget to subscribe to their channels. Tune in next week to see the final group of four. Plus, big news about what happens with cars that were eliminated and the cars that didn't qualify. We got big updates to this IDRL 2.0 race series. The top 48 cars out of the 72 qualifying will go on to the IDRL Sportsman Cup. The other 24 cars will compete in the Endurance Cup. Cars will be eliminated at each track, with the top 8 cars participating in the final event at Bay City Diecast Racing.